inheritance hunters. Oh right, yeah, air air hunters. What yeah. the fuck is yeah. that? <laughs> so so <laughs> it someone's... sounds like a TV show. So, <laughs> well, funny enough, <laughs> it is. So That's new of yeah. yeah. So basically, it was a, a scenario where my mum got like a random phone call, yeah. and someone was like, "Right, your second great auntie Doris has died. Mm. You're like the legal next or the legal beneficiary. Um, we want a percentage yeah. of." this inheritance to basically make it available to you so tell us about that well it's uh it's an interesting phenomenon that's probably been around uh i'm, I'm guessing now probably 20 years on the bbc it was on early in the mornings in nine o'clock you know uh and you think about their target audience you know predominantly people may have retired or, or not working or and yeah and they're, they're watching it and you know they do a great job you know they they reunite people with something that the uh the beneficiary didn't even know was there. So like you said, three times removed, you, there was no will because that's the important thing. So every Thursday morning, the Treasury, HM Treasury, uh, dropped the Treasury list. And that basically says these are the estates that have come up across uh, the country where, uh, you know, there's no beneficiary. Uh, so, so all these companies jump in and they pick the ones that they see has got the biggest amount of money normally. So if there's an estate of 800,000 and they charge a fee of, I don't know what it is these days, 15%, 20%, I don't know. Uh, and they can find these beneficiaries. So they do all the research with their genealogists. The main company that you see on the BBC is uh, Fraser and Fraser. So they do a lot of that. And, and they, they, they track these beneficiaries down. So like with your mum, I mean, if all of a sudden somebody knocks on your door, all of a sudden it's, and it's Friday morning and the list came out the day before, they say, uh, oh, you're entitled to you know, a, a chunk from this estate, please sign here. Most people will sign because they don't know what the number is, do they? Do they know it's a thousand pound or is it a million pounds? You're going to get something you didn't expect. That just, that just screams to me, I'm getting scammed. Yeah, yeah it would do. What, what's, just, what's, what's the due diligence that someone could do in that situation? I think with, with companies like Fraser, you know, they, uh, they're very reputable, you know, great firm. Uh, been around a long time. There are one-man bands who do it as well. Mm, that's yeah. why I think this lady was. We contacted my uh, so right. If if that happened though, could you say like you were contacted by like a one-man band? Could you go to Fraser and Fraser? Go, is this? Is this? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Is yeah. this the legit? They would encourage I mean? that though. Yeah. They would encourage it. Some of the others may not because maybe they haven't got a backup. But you know, if they can evidence that you are the you know cousin six times removed of of Doris who died in the Forest of Dean or something, and 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 you might get thirty. 30,000 out of it, you, you'd take it every day, wouldn't you? So, so, so where's the, where's the, I'm trying to, I'm trying Paul's, to like, Paul's trying to think now, like uh, she's turned down 800 grand. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. damn it. And a house of France, yeah. <laughs> I, I guess I'm just trying to understand like, maybe it's just, maybe I'm just being cynical and it's the right thing to do, but I'm trying to see what the benefit is from, I guess, the treasury to mm. release that estate and, and then how these companies are entitled to a percentage of it or a commission. That's so, the bit. So that you're giving them a commission. So they're basically giving you, uh, they're they're, find, they're finding you, yeah. and then the, you, basically their finders fee is the fifteen percent. So they basically say, "This is what like we've got this estate for you. Yeah. <laughs> if you we want know where it, so do yeah, they, we do know they, where it is. Do they, do, do they almost take ownership of it to some extent? Then no, they. So why can't I just bypass them and go to the treasury? Because you don't know it exists. Because you don't. They've just told there. me. That. No, they're not. They're telling you. Oh, I see somewhere. what you mean. I see, oh, in right. reverse, as it were. Yeah. Yeah, but then. Let's say there's potentially 15 beneficiaries. You've then got to go and find them yourself right. bef before the estate. And can then be also, it's having the knowledge of what Trev's just said. It, it, does that make sense? Like yeah, knowing yeah. there's a list, knowing mm. you know that you can actually search for it yourself. No, I, I'm thinking a step further on. So if someone's actually been in touch, they've knocked on your door and saw there's some uh, there's, a, there's an estate waiting for you. <laughs> Give yeah. us like 20. percent I'm like, no thanks. I'll just go get the estate. But what they don't tell you is who that person is. Yeah. Right, okay. So I believe, okay. you know, right. because they'll, they, that, yeah, they'll keep yeah. that to themselves. That it's possible you're a potential beneficiary in an yeah. estate yeah. of a relative. And you, right. you could get up to £50,000. Yeah. Mm. Yes, so sign here, you know. Yeah. I, I don't All know right. if it's straightforward. Yeah. It looks that straightforward on television. But the, the amount they've invested in genealogist tools and, and the staff and premises and yeah it's a lot but they they have guys all over the country they'll just ring them up and say so say it was down here we found that doris had a cousin six times removed living in padstow here's the address can you get to the house so it's like a mad rush because there could be other genealogists <laughs> doing the same thing that's yeah. what happens you can see what it's made a tv oh, show oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Wow. and it's, do you know what though there's some great touching stories on there as well because oh, yeah, you know all this we talk about documents money it's all about people isn't it yeah. it's people 
you know, and uh, yeah, and life changing for some people. Yeah, you can imagine some old yeah. lady who's like struggling mm. and just getting 50 grand given to yeah. her. Yeah.